Second qualifying final, the Penrith Panthers hosting the Sydney Roosters on Friday night at 7.50 local time. The Roosters back-to-back -back premiers not that long ago. They have found the going a little bit tougher in finals since then. Two and four in finals since their last premiership. And Penrith gunning for an amazing four in a row. 77 and 14 is their home and away record since the start of 2020. And 11 and two in finals since the 2020 grand final. It's been an incredible record for the Penrith Panthers who gets the week off and books a place in a preliminary final. We'll jump into our finals focus. Looking at the history of this matchup, and it is one-way traffic, which is concerning for Roosters fans. They've been a pretty good side over the last few years, so it is unusual to see this lopsided a tally even factoring in how good Penrith have been. But the Panthers have won the last nine meetings between these sides by an average of 16 points through that period. So they've been utterly dominant, and that is another challenge at the feet of the Roosters to be able to overcome that in a final, and as mentioned earlier, they're two and five since their grand final victory back in 2019. So finals haven't been kind to them, and this matchup certainly hasn't been kind to them. It's been nearly a lifetime since these sides last met, but we go back to round four, and the Roosters actually equipped themselves fairly well on that occasion. They were a long way down, they fought back late, lost by six, it was 22 to 16 on that occasion. So another Panthers win. But as we said, it was a step up. Last year, the sides met twice and the Panthers won 78 to 10 combined across those two matches. They obliterated them on both occasions. This time, at least the Roosters did push them deep and maybe they can take something from that into this final. Taking a look at the stat that matters for the Panthers, the ability to be disciplined and minimize mistakes is crucial in the high pressure stakes of finals. And they are the number one completion team of all eight finalists operating at 80% and 52% possession through that time as well. They just are rock solid in every aspect of the game. They've won nine finals in a row. And during that period, only once have they conceded more than 12 points in a game and that was last year's grand final of course where they had to run down the Broncos after trailing 24 to 8 with 18 minutes to go that is an absolute cornerstone of the Panthers when it comes to September they just don't make mistakes looking at the player to watch for the Panthers well Dylan Edwards finally starting to get the kudos that he deserves has often been overshadowed a little bit by some of his more highly fancied teammates but stepping into the fullback role with a plume in, in recent times and he has been outstanding. Uh, they are the number one defensive side in the competition, narrowly ahead of the Sharks. Defense invariably wins titles over the last uh, 20 years. No side that's uh, ranked outside of the top four defensively has won a title in both the NRL and the AFL. It's a huge statistical uh, fact or consistency over time and Dylan Edwards has led that charge magnificently for Penrith. The stats that matter for the the Roosters and is timing crucial? They are the number one scoring side in the competition, 46 points ahead of their nearest rival, the Storm, 10 tries ahead of them as well. But a couple of offensive injuries, Walker and Co. in recent times has just hamstrung them a little bit, but it is one of those matchups where you have the best defensive combination possibly ever against the best attacking team of the season. So it really is a matter of who gets on top with their ideal style of play. So can the Roosters get their weapons firing sufficiently to break through this Penrith defense? Looking at the key player for the Roosters, this would have been said a hundred times in a row on Roosters previews, but Jimmy Tedesco, a player that has the weapons and the class to hurt very good opposition in finals. He does it at state of origin level. He's done it for this Roosters team for quite some time and he has to absolutely nail it if they are to get through this game but also to get through this finals campaign. So once again, it is Jimmy Tedesco. Well, wrapping up our thoughts on the second qualifying final, it is very difficult to go against Penrith at this time of year and particularly when their record is as imposing as it is against the Roosters. It's imposing overall but particularly so against another very good side who they've dominated and make sure that you do like and subscribe but also check out the NRL hub at zerotackle.com for all the latest stats information and uh, tidbits that you need heading into this finals campaign.